This is the old Apple Lightning dock, which makes your iPhone sit upright in the dock as it sinks or charges. You may notice it when you go to the Apple Store. And today we got a demo. Let's take it apart to see what's inside. The packaging continues the simple Apple design with the name and pics of this dock. The sticker shows its model is A1717. Flip to the back, it's printed with a side view of the product. Open the box, only the charging dock inside. The base is flat and adopts unibody aluminum technology. The lightning connector is on the top side. The connector is angled, so you can easily place your iPhone. There is a lightning port and a headphone jack on the other side. A blue protective film is attached to the button. The sticky pads on both sides can fix the dock on the desktop for use. The size is about 67 by 48.5 by 8.5 mm and the weight is about 80 grams. Then let's use it to charge the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The ChargeLab Power ZKM002 to C shows the power is 5.12 volts, 1.44 amp, 7.39 watts. Next, let's tear off the blue protective film. And it's pretty sticky. And then remove the stainless steel sheet at the bottom, which is fixed by clips. After removing the top case, we can see the internal module. The slot, QR code, and film are on the back of the top case. The lightning connector is fixed by four screws and connected to the metal plate. Let's remove all the screws and separate the PCB. The PCB module is fixed between the aluminum alloy and the plastic frame. A large shielding plate is on the PCB. No components on the back of the PCB. Remove the metal plate. Several chips on the PCB are used for power supply control, audio conversion, and other purposes. The lightning connector with gold pins is at the bottom, and headphone jack and lightning socket are on the top. The synchronous buck boost converter is from Texas Instruments, which integrates switch transistor. The input and output voltage is up to 5.5 volts and 3.6 volts, respectively. This is KKD chip marked with S9AF. The VBUS MOSFET is from NXP, used to control the charging. A chip marked with 9C9L025, and a chip marked with AD03161950. This is an NXP chip marked with SD9452C. The passive crystal oscillator is marked with T120. An Apple chip marked with 338S1081. And here is the Apple Audio Conversion chip marked with 338S1146. Finally, the charging chip is from NXP marked with 161083. Well, that's all components of this charging dock. Most chips are customized by Apple, responsible for audio conversion and corresponding connection functions. The PCB is compact and elegant, and is also protected and insulated by a metal shielding plate. The entire module is fixed with screws and clips, and the unibody aluminum makes it more durable. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!